Hi students, this is Dr. Praveen Tripathi, Faculty of Psychiatry. And the big question is that 19 days are being given to 19 subjects. What is the basis behind this? What, why is it being done? And what is the output that a student can expect? Since the original rapid revision course was announced, this question has been asked by a few students who have expressed the doubts. And it's a fair question, I believe. What is the answer? The answer is that the coaching industry, the reason for the existence of coaching industry is not only to give information. Information is available in copious amounts, in abundant amounts on different sources. Take any subject, say you take the subject of psychiatry. Now there's a standard textbook called as Kaplan Sadox textbook of psychiatry, which has got thousands of pages. What I can ever teach or what any psychiatry faculty can ever teach can never even be compared to the information which is given in that textbook. The problem is information is not the limiting factor in the entrance examination. The limiting factor is always the availability of time. So the reason why coaching exists for any entrance examination, be it NEET PG, be it INICT or be it you know, UPSC or you know, GATE or ITJ, all the coaching institutes that are there in the world. The basic reason is that these institutes, their job is to take into account that limited time which is available and ensure that the maximum information that can be given to the student gets covered and students also get ample time to revise that information. The same is the strategy of those 19 days. Please understand, say, say a subject can be finished in 10 hours and there are two students. One student is Ram and other student is Shyam. Now there are two different approaches taken. Both these students, Ram and Shyam are very hardworking. They are ready to give 10 hours of time to the subject which needs 10 hours to be read. What Shyam does is, Shyam reads the entire subject, he gives 10 hours to that subject and he reads it once and goes for the exam. What Ram does is, Ram understands or Ram has been told by his teacher that out of that 10 hour subject, 3 hour subject is the part or 3 hour part is the one from where most of the questions have been asked in the last 10 years. And the teacher tells Ram that if you cover these three hours properly and if you revise these three hours properly and if you ensure that any question which is which comes from this, this part, you get it correct, then your chances of getting a good marks become really good. So Ram follows it. Ram uses his 10 hour time to read that, that three hour component thrice and he takes a chance, does not take, does not read that, that seven hours which is left uh, too seriously. Now both of them appear for the exam, both of them are equally hard working, both of them have given equal time. Out of the Ram's 3 hour, out of 10, 8 questions were asked and Ram was able to get 7 out of them correct. His score is 7 out of 10. Sham on the other hand was able to finish the entire subject but he got no time to revise it. In an entrance examination like NEET PG which is very factual, if you don't revise, sometimes you don't remember anything at all. Say Sham got 5 out of 10, 10 questions correct. Now despite both of them giving equal time, but despite both of them reading the same subject, the scores are different because the strategies were different. And this is going to be true always. Why? As long as the limiting factor remains the availability of time, people who are able to use that time more efficiently will always outperform the people who try to cover everything because they are afraid of missing out. This is the basic thought behind giving only 19 days to 19 subjects. We want that all those, all that material which is very high ed, which is very likely to be asked is provided to the students. So that students can you know take that material and just ratify it, just ensure that they memorize every single point told in those 19 days. And they make it the core of their preparation, the high yield material. And how do we know what high yield material is? It's no science. We don't have any secret. Previous year questions are what tells us or what tell us 
what the high yield material is going to be previous year questions the topics from which previous year questions have been asked and something which is around it that that forms the core of your preparation so that is going to be the strategy of all the teachers who would be taking original rapid revision and even if you are not attending original rapid revision if you are a student studying with some other source which is fine by the way you have to remember this strategy previous year questions forms the core of your preparation right it is very easy say say as a, as a psychiatry teacher i teach you for 5 days say and i cover everything possible in psychiatry and after the exam results are announced i say 100% strike rate whatever i teach everything comes from that i can ensure that any teacher can ensure that but that's not that big an achievement because the student does not have got 50 hours for psychiatry student does not have 50 hours for the psych for psychiatry i have to ensure as a teacher that student is taught the subject of psychiatry in the time which is available to uh, available to a, for a subject like psychiatry a student who trusts on me a student who spends hard and money of his parents or himself and comes to us to get a good rank it's it's our moral duty it's our moral obligation to stay true to that student the the important point is not the strike rate of the teacher the important point is whether the student was given the material which he can study and revise because the time is limited so this is the thought behind the cerebellum academy original rapid revision and this is this should be the thought behind every coaching institute's material which is provided to the students so guys we are very excited we have had more than 500 registrations and uh, we will be soon meeting all you guys for this this new course and uh, i hope that we are able to live up to the expectations of so many students and the trust that they have put on us god bless you all the best study hard take the preparation to the last day and you will get the rank that you deserve good wishes